What's happening everybody? Street here, PC Gamer and Shenanigans Extraordinaire. Welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome back to the Ship Museum. I've put my goddamn heart and soul into this place. <laughs> Seriously, this place has become the, the ship building bay and it's become my ship museum. And we're in the, the street Skeeto actually right now. Let's see, let's drop this thing down right here. This is where I just kind of have like my all-purpose vehicle. I just kind of put it right here. It's just, it's out of the way. It just makes makes sense. Oh, there we go. Oh, the best little ship you were ever come across in your life. The Street Skeeto. So versatile. So efficient. I think it's amazing if I do say so myself. I'm just, I mean, I'm throwing it out there. Being honest. <laughs> Alright guys, so those of you who followed my Space Engineers uh, series, The Misfits in Space, will, uh, will probably appreciate what you'll see here. Um, this is the Ship Museum, man. I, I've put so many hours. Oh god, I don't know what I'm into right now. I'm probably in... I'd say at least 40 hours. 40 hours of building and, and digging and just making this place. And this is the actual museum itself. I mean, this basically is the ship bay. I mean, tell me my view is in fucking bees. <laughs> this is the ship bay. I'm actually building... I'm in the middle of building a Millennium Falcon-inspired gunship. And I gotta take this piece off, dude. I was working with something. I was trying to get, like, some... Some bigger wings. Like, I had one of these on the other side. But I ended up having my thrusters like way back here, or like a tail going way back here with like a thruster bank on the end. And it, it started to look like a raven or something. I didn't, I didn't know what the hell I was looking at. I was like, dude, this is really starting to look like a bird. And then I, I started uh, kind of tweaking it. I wanted some more side thrusters, so I stacked them over here. And uh, then I put the thruster bank up closer and I was like, oh, this is kind of actually what I was looking for, a Millennium Falcon type inspired so I think I'm just gonna take this wing off replicate this and we'll put a couple more guns and some things on it it's a it's got all large reactors um, with um, large thrusters so it's it's a small ship but man it is fast and it's gonna have a huge payload on it when it's done so I'm just saying all right so basically uh, these are the ships that I've built so far that I've just taken pride in um, this is the Gen 3 of the original ship I built, the Street Fighter. This is the Street Fighter Pro. And it's all behind glass. <laughs> and I just got them floating and displaying in the case, which is freaking beast. And then this is my collection of uh, just little ships, man, that I'll, you guys saw on my uh, Misfits in Space. I, I, I kept building a bunch of little ships. I built the Speeder here first. And then I ended up building the Street Skeeto over here. And then I went with the Scout. This is the modified speeder that I turned into a Scout ship. It's got an ore detector and a beacon on it. So that I can actually take it away from home and not lose it. And it, it's actually really fast. I told you guys that I would show you the revisions of this ship in my last series. Um, and we'll bring that out here in one of these next episodes. And we'll kind of show you what that thing ended up being. Uh, and then I built this wing. This is the street wing. And it's it's made of all thrusters. Like, I mean, obviously there's a couple of little, you know, wedge pieces there in front of the, uh, the ship. But everything else is thrusters. So I was able to, like, utilize pretty much all the space except for, like, I mean, I see a space here. Like, one or two blocks. And it just ended up being like a fun ship. It, it was actually pretty fast and it's pretty maneuverable. Um, and then this was just like a like a cookie cutter default cockpit that I built. It's got the merge block with the large uh, reactor on it. The merge block actually originally. Wow, I gotta fix that. Originally, um, what am I? Th what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, was built for for connecting into like multiple components. Like I wanted to build like. Well, for example, I built a, uh, a thruster bank that the ship would merge into, and the thruster bank had its own large reactor, so there was plenty of power, and uh, that thing was so effing fast. 
This <laughs> thing is so like you're gonna gas it and just be gone. So. Yeah, wow. 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 Careful, brother. Oh. <laughs> Careful, brother. Bye, brother. <laughs> <laughs> God. Let me show you a little bit more of the museum because this first episode really I, I kind of wanted to just showcase to you guys what's actually happening out here. And uh, oh my god, I, I didn't record any of the base building process for the most part. I mean, I did, but it was just hours and hours and hours of me building this thing. And I'm, it's still obviously a work in progress, too. But, um,. It's just, it was like non-stop, and this is what this video I wanted to be about was just kind of sharing this with you. I'm going to turn this into my um, ship building bay. I mean, this is the bay, this is the museum, really. It's all the ship museum, but I wanted to, I built a place just to record videos of base, or uh, ship builds. And um, that's kind of what I wanted this, this first video to be. I know I'm probably rambling at this point, it's just dumb. But this is what, or this was the room that I, I planned on making, like sealed, where I could, I could get oxygen in here, and it would just like fill the room with oxygen, and everything would be just ready, you know, everything would be set up nice. Uh, this is the mine under the base, and my whole system is is piped and automated down here. Um, it's it's all cluster fucked back there, but <laughs> okay, dude, ah, ah, Jesus. I'm just hitting random buttons and just completely missing my thruster pack. I know, it happens It happens to the best of us and you start fat fingering buttons and it just doesn't work. Um, I wish I would have moved this over one more space, but let me show you. It's just a cargo container. And when you access it, you could drop off anything you want and it will just filter and, and do what it needs to do. Um, everything, you know, the assembly can be accessed from here, and I can, I can build, I can drop off anything, I can refine anything. It's just, it's like an automated thing. I just get in for my day's trip, I dump everything off, and then when I need to build something, I just build it right there, man. So, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Alright, so that's basically the, uh, the museum. I planned on keeping this for my, uh, my, my gunship over here, my fighter. Because, here, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys why I decided to build a fighter in the first place. Let me just come out here and do my little, you know, this is like my little solar system. I'm on, I'm on the, uh, the main shot here, and I got my own little moons, and it just feels good. It's like I got, I got bodies next to me. But I also have a shit ton of raiders everywhere, <laughs> so, um... I decided I probably should go and deal with these guys before it gets ugly. Um, there's there's a couple of destroyers. There's some tons of raiding stations, but they're everywhere. And I mean, maybe it's normal because I have the uh, my my world is inf infinite. It's got max objects, max everything, so there's there's just asteroids and shit everywhere, and just little things everywhere. And I have the view distance, like, maxed out, or no, I think I have it at, like, 50,000 meters or something. So I, I, I don't know if that's just making it look like, since I can see further, or I can... My perception goes farther, that maybe that's the reason I see so many more but Jesus I was like dude there's raiding outposts everywhere and raiding stations and destroyers and it's all just shit that's going down yeah see there you go there's a street scout that's the only ship I got with a beacon on it right now all right but anyway I hope you guys like what I've done here man I've put so much work into this and it's still not done um but it's it's provided to be a good place, and it actually looks a lot better when the sun's not blazing through the fucking front of it. But you guys will see that in a later episode, and you actually get to see all the lighting work I did. I mean, I turned it down low, but I kept the fallout high, and it was it's different. I, I worked it over and over and over again to get the lighting just right, and right now it looks too bright because of this freaking sun right here, but it is what it is. Alright, so thanks anyways, guys. I know I'm rambling like a nut, dude. I'm just, I'm trying to get a good idea. I'm trying to let you guys get a good idea of what's happening here and what to expect. And if you guys want to see some shit builds, man, 
then I am more than happy to do them for you guys because I love building ships and space engineers and I figured why not create an environment to do that and and then at some point I can have like guests you know I'll have Easton come in we'll build a ship I'll have Ragen come in we'll build a ship um, you know some of you guys might appreciate just different ideas for things to build and things to do so don't forget to like this video if you haven't already guys and I hope I didn't bore you too much with this and ramble on and on and on about my my, my most beast creation yet the ship museum <laughs> but I hope you guys come back and watch some more. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.